One, two, four. Will the real Ray Daniel please stand up? Will the, Will the real Ray Daniel please stand up? Will the real Ray Daniel please stand up? You all act like you've never seen a brown person before. No. Just like our clique, smoking funk and doing crack in 94. And everyone say uh. the Forbidden Zone, rip out the hookah and more. But the only difference is cluckers on TV, La Llorona, making them G's. And still hanging out being baked and selling out just like we did back in the day when we were in Sunset Foothills. But straight up Joya. We just keep going. We're strong. That's the way we are. We grew up. So one more time, let me tell you. It goes. Yes, some of them are crazy and some of them are real crazy. All of you other lame crazy are just put those babies on wall. The real rain, they don't please smoke dope. Please smoke dope. Please smoke dope. Yes, some of them are crazy and some of them are real crazy. All you other lame crazy are just put those babies on wall. The real rain, they don't please smoke dope. Please smoke dope. Please smoke dope. All you TV acts are scared. Cause you know. We got the top ratings on this air. The only difference is, we've been doing this for 13 years. Marty running around, grabbing you know what. Why are you so cute though? <laughs> and that's why we say, Ray, Rob, Roach, Paul, Stoney, Louie, Rudy, Rudy, even Cliff. Coy with the mafioso. You know I forgot? I'm holding a 40. <laughs> We don't make it. Uh, uh, no one else will. Uh, 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 Alrighty people, uh, this morning I found out uh, there was another envelope with anthrax found in Washington, D.C. And I found this out this morning. And Marty Cotolo was able, to, uh, the editor of the show was able to go through some archives uh, of, uh, of some anthrax albums and he found this one. And this one, apparently the band, uh, we were real big into them back in the 80s. Uh, this is the name Anthrax, and this is their album called Spreading the Disease. And believe it or not, people, this uh, album came out back in 1985. Back in 1985. And little did we know back then, I mean, if somebody would have told us back in 1985 when this album came out, you know, uh, 16 years later, young man, uh, you, you're going to be worried about anthrax gear caused by terrorists in the good USA. And it's going to be coming right after the two uh, World Trade Center and Pentagon get hit. I would have said you, you're, you're crazy. So, and hence the name of the show. But uh, yeah, this is the band Anthrax. I was real big into them in the 80s. Uh, believe it or not, people, I'm a product of the 80s. I went to uh, high school in the 80s. So that makes me an old geezer. But uh, it's kind of scary now that four states that uh, got uh, anthrax envelopes. And to me, people out there in a lot of land, that four states, too many. Um, it's like a bad, bad Tom Clancy novel come to life. 
And and what is kind of weird about the whole thing too is like Anthrax, the band, you know, they would never thought we have to be worried about this later on. And then uh, Megadeth, I used to like Megadeth a lot also, I still do. But uh, they used to have a song called uh, Holy War and an album called uh, Rust in Peace, which is my favorite album by the way, came out in 1990. And you know, they had that shit down back in the day, in 1990, the same year Iraq uh, invaded Kuwait in August of 1990. So Anthrax and uh, Megadeth, they knew what was up all along. It was just the, the mentality back then, I'm sorry if I'm doing that, um, the mentality back then in the U.S. that those things, that those terrorist attacks were incomprehensible, and that's why these bands were able to write about these songs and name albums after diseases. Yeah, I haven't talked about it yet either, but uh, 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 last Sunday, it was the first Sunday, last Sunday, October, I think, October 7th or 8th, that's when we did uh, the first strike against Afghanistan. And uh, you know what, I'm very glad that we're doing that because let them get a taste of our, their own medicine. And you know, I, I won't talk too much about it because I'm kind of ill-prepared to do a little hot segment on what's going on because I, I've been very busy lately and, and I haven't been able to do a lot of research research uh, concerning the show. But Anthrax, putting the disease, is the soundtrack for the show. And I want to go off on a little couple of tidbits and then I'm signing out. But uh, stay tuned for a uh, great uh, Call Me Crazy uh, segment that I filmed prior a couple of days ago, weeks ago. Uh, uh, all that. Well, I'd like to thank you, the viewer in La La Land. Uh, thank you for all the people and uh, the wonderful uh, uh, fans who uh, write to us. Uh, they give us a lot of specifications on what, on, uh, on, um, an appearance and what they do and it's pretty cool because it gives me a general idea of what kind of people are watching the show. So first thing first and last last is uh, in California a 10 foot python ate a pit bull. Apparently the owner of the, uh, the house left the pit bull and the python unattended and when the man got home that uh, night from work he found the python uh, with a big lump in the middle and couldn't find the pit bull so uh, they found out that the python swallowed the whole pit bull hole. Okay, people, in, in uh, Iran, I'm going to go off, off on a little uh, European and Middle Eastern uh, new tidbit. In Iran, uh, the mother and father were taking care of, uh, taking care of a uh, three-year-old daughter that they had, and they went to go work in the field and somehow they lost the baby while they were working in the field. They weren't able to keep an eye on the baby. So what ended up happening, the, the baby went missing for three days. And get this people, I'm not talking about no uh, freaking great soap, uh, or Tarzan or uh, a Walt Disney movie. Uh, they found the three-year-old toddler still alive, safe and sound, being taken care of by bears in a cave in Iran and they were able to find, uh, pull the baby girl out from uh, the den of where the, the bear sleep. And that just goes to show, you know, in the land of where there's so much upheaval and turmoil, it's good to know that God is looking out for the little one. But, it's, you know, it's not a Walt Disney movie. He, this little kid was found in a bear's den with no scratches, you know, didn't kill the toddler. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, people, uh, there's a lot of backlash in the U.S. and other countries, including Pakistan, uh, Indonesia, uh, Bangladesh is having their own problem with uh, uh, anti-U.S. Muslim fanatics also. So what they have, in turn, doing their own kind of propaganda, they've been uh, spreading these posters of birth from Sesame Street fame being hauled away by uh, uh, Bin Laden uh, commanders, including one of them, Bin Laden. And they're, they're apparently very popular in those countries. As, uh, like I said, it's uh, Burt from Sesame Street being hauled away by a uh, Muslim rebel uh, uh, 
Bin Laden rebel. You know, it, now it came out fumble and jumble. I'm going to have to come back with you with more research. But that's what's going on. They're using a Sesame Street character to show the world that they're going to kick our ass, which I doubt is going to happen. Okay, people, here's a, here's a, a sick thing in Switzerland. In, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, in Sweden, I'm sorry, Sweden, the family sat down at night to watch the, the television and enjoy the, the show, and they bought uh, a bag of, uh, they had a bag of chips. So naturally, uh, everyone, the whole family, the two girls, the, the boy and the girl, and the parents are eating chips from the bag. And you know, they're watching the show, and a little while later, they all noticed that the, the the corn chips are real spicy and taste the kind of weird. So, uh, the father and the mother end up looking in the bag to find out what was wrong with the, the taste of the chips. And it turns out there was a fried up rat mouth in the bag of corn chips. You heard it first on the Call Me Crazy show, but the, uh, the family all were gagging. And they said the, the, the mouth was already in the bag of the corn chip already dried up and fried or fried up and then it dried out ain't that some that's some sick i'm sorry i'm gonna have to say it's some sick shit you know you know i just hate to think that i'm eating my dorito cool ranch or whatever and you know and i open up my a bag and i find a dried up mouth that's enough to make me get go up postal on, on, on uh, people who are responsible for that so i wanted to let you people know about that and one first thing first and last is last. Uh, in Pakistan, uh, a convicted murderer he, uh, and his accomplice, the guy was around, the, uh, I guess, late 30s. Uh, he had an accomplice uh, who was 14, a helper. And these two were a serial killer in Pakistan. And the older man, with the help of a 14 year old boy, were able to lure uh, 100 kids to the death, strangle them, chop them up, and then boil them in, in uh, acid. And this, they did this for, I guess, uh, for a long while. They managed to kill 100 kids. But they were convicted, not a couple weeks ago, uh, but I think a couple months ago, they were convicted of the crimes of 100 kids' death, and they were sent to be killed the same way, strangled, chopped up, and boiled. But uh, I guess they were in the same jail cell that happened a couple weeks ago. Uh, they ended up killing themselves. So that's what happened. But they set the record for the most people killed by serial killer uh, in Pakistan, which is 100. OK, people, I'm out of here. I got to go. Um, I'm busy. But I'd like to thank you all, Tucson, Arizona. God bless the USA. Fuck Bin Laden. Uh, he can, uh, like I said before, I hope he choked to death on a, on a rock, because that's probably what he's eating. I hope he's uh, to tossed in a little uh, dust with his uh, rock taco. He's probably making a rock taco with uh, leaves, some Afghani leaves or whatever. Uh, but uh, I, I will have an interview with Bin Laden in a couple weeks. I'll let, let you know more about that. I'm out of here, people. Hasta la vista, the Comic Crazy Show. Uh, you can go to our email site, and I'll give you the address later on. But thanks for watching. I got to go. I'm running late. Uh, but I'll be back with a vengeance in a couple weeks, because I'm tied up for a while. So later, the Comic Crazy Show.